Yeah. Hey there, everyone. This is Parker from Teen Shockwave. I'm here with Arlen. You guys might know him as the guy that was playing the Burning Abyss uh, last week. Yes. So we're here for a deck profile that you guys have been requesting a lot from him. Why did you decide to play with this deck? Honestly, the main reason I played the deck was because I'm a fan of the Dante Inferno poem. Well, the Dante's travel or something. The Italian based poem about his travel to hell to rescue, I think it's his love or something. And then he goes through trials. That was the main reason. Like, I found out that Dante and Storm came out, and I was like, they're broken. Like, you get to exceed into a card trooper, basically a card that you don't even need to run in your main deck anymore, and just generically do what he does, and he's just so good. All right, uh, let's start with the deck profile then. All right. So, I first start off with three of the key cards, which is Sir. So it's three Sir, three Scorn, and three Graph. They're basically, for now, they're the key of the deck. Like, basically, one would search from the deck for the next one to start off next turn. One special summons from the deck and one special summons from the grave. So, they, like, there's no going wrong with less than three of each of them because they are the deck. So. And then after that, I play three tour guide because she searches out all of them and then triggers them to come off when they hit the graveyard. So... And then Scarm also searches her because it targets any level 3 Fiend, Dark Fiend. And then I play 3 Caius, which is, I guess, cute tech against like Shadows, Mirror Matches. As you guys saw, it helped me clutch win one of the games by tributing itself. He's like the Heartland Draco or Gaga Cowboy that I don't have because I can't play into rank 4s. I also play 2 Crane Crane because mid to late game, I run out of targets for this to hit. So then might as well go for the graveyard and let them go off again. So like, crane crane to Sir, so Sir can bring out another one. Always a good play. I also play one tour bus, because I like sending, when I do Dante's effect, to send something to the grave. So when I send something to the grave, basically it'll let me recycle so that I don't have to get to the point where I have to rely on the crane crane to do anything. And then after that, I still have a couple more. So I play one BLS because, you know, Dante's a light, why not? And you go into Dante so often, he's like your first turn play always. So why not go into the BLS? And then last, I play Gen X Ally Birdman for the sole purpose that he lets me recycle the tour guide or the crane crane or any other effect, like even Caius, so I can like send it back to my hand, so I can burn man, then tribute it to burn for another thousand or something. And then for spells, I play obviously Triple Astro Force. It's, it's what makes the deck good. It turns all the rank threes that are like either weak or not strong enough or ran out of materials into powerful fives, such as like Dante goes right into Pallades. I'll go into that in a little bit. I play Double Lance. I'm thinking about going into a third one so that it can protect the tour guide and the crane crane because that's like the main card that you want to protect until you hit like the Dante into the core. Supply so Squad, a lot of people play them at three. I like it at two because I don't want to clutter the deck and have to rely on them having to get blown up. But still, an amazing card to play in the deck because of the fact that, you know, it pops all the... When they all pop, you draw a card, so... Then obviously Dark Hall, Allure, One Foolish Burial, so you can trigger off the stuff if you don't draw them, or draw the tour guide early, and then Soul Charge, obvious, for obvious reasons. And then for Traps, I play Double Karma Cut, amazing card because it triggers them to get removed. Like, it, basically when you pay the cost, it'll trigger them to get removed and stuff like that. And when I remove something that's already been a threat early game and then hit more in the grave. I also play double breakthrough skill for the same obvious reason as like tour bus. Because if they get milled, you can use them in the grave or you just set them and, you know, their breakthrough skill. And then generic ones are like Compose, Soul of Morning. Surrender so Tribute and a Bottomless. And then I only play one of, but I'm also debating on whether I want to keep it or not, the Traveling the Burning Abyss, because it becomes iffy at the fact that every now and again, yes. you might not have 
monsters, you might have some monsters that are not burning abyss, and then you'll play it, and they'll basically do nothing, because they'll just get destroyed, and if you trigger their effects already, it basically does nothing. And then for the extra deck, I play two Dante, because he's Dante. <laughs> basically, you know, a card trooper triggers them all from the grave, he gets to attack and goes to defense like Dasher, which was always something I always liked back when Destiny Heroes were the thing. And then I would normally play two Pleiades so that the rank of magic could go into him, but I don't have a second Pleiades for now. So for now I'm playing Utopia Ray Victory. So I don't know if, if everybody knows what he does, but basically when he attacks, your opponent can't activate any spell traps in response to his attack. Then I play one Alucard with the Bram. Alucard for key reasons. I might put him up to two and take something out. And Bram, I would still keep him at one because you only want to play his effect at least once. Then I play one Grenosaurus with the Volcasaurus combo. So you could go Grenosaurus into him so he could pop something, go into Gaia Charger, and if you didn't summon, you could literally like Caius and burn for game or something. Then I go Engine Manquip Engineer into Tyrus. Uh, this combo is like one of those utility ones that you want to have because even if you don't want to go into tears, you can still keep Engineers Engineer. Then the interesting one was Chronomaly Crystal Chrononaut and Herald G Crest of Horror. This guy is a decent beater for rank 3, he's 21 in case you run out of Dante's. And then when you rank him up, he ranks up into a 4000 beater that when he gets swung at, he basically blows up your opponent's whole board. So they have to waste cards basically to get around him. So that's why I liked him a lot. And then one Acid Golem because he's a 3000 beater that's good around skills and a downer magician. So, you know, in case you want to go into rank four or something, I was thinking because I'm playing this, I might go into like an EEV or deck devastation because it's a good target so that you can tribute. And then Gaia Charger for in case for any other rank fives when they run out of materials or something and that's pretty much it all right and then like subscribe for team shockwave this is arlen heading out so um enjoy um you were in, you were in the frame <laughs> wow. you was like you saw like your upper body half and that's it <laughs> enjoy guys <laughs>